Do they just eat and drink in historic downtown Sanford? Nope. These folks are cultural. Case in point, Janine Taylor's Folk Art Gallery on Main Street. Well, I specialize in folk art, untrained, self-taught art. Okay. And I further specialize uh, by having my artists all reside in the Deep South. So in addition to having my folk art gallery here, I've got eight working artist studios. Oh, wow. And those are local artists that work here in front of the public. I looked around at some of the art, but when I was walking by is what really caught my eye, the facade. Can you mm -hmm. tell me a little bit about the facade? It's an artist by the name of Mr. Imagination. Okay. Uh, AKA Gregory Warmack. Okay. We became friends. And then when I moved here, we realized that the historic building, the facade was not original. So we decided to commission uh, Mr. Imagination to create a, what we call a memory wall. And I put um, a press release in our local paper inviting the community to bring up little mementos, nothing of real value, but something that had a story to it and press it in the wet cement. Oh, I love it. So that this is a participatory yes. art piece. Yes. So people are actually able to contribute right. mm -hmm. and, and now they can come by and see their artwork right. memorialized. Wow. Right. And if you come to visit Janine Taylor's Folk Art Gallery in historic downtown Sanford, you can see it too. Mm -hmm.